Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to deploy an XV boost model. So before we get started, use this data set right here. Download the train and test. Unzip it. Get your execution roll. Create your bucket, name it whatever you want. Unzip it right here. And then we're going to clean uh, both data frames. And then we're going to create our baseline data set right here. Save it to CSV, the baseline one. SageMaker session. Split them into train and test sets. And then we're going to upload the first data frame and then the test data from the other one. It was split. Validation in your train. And then we're going to do XGBoost latest version. We're going to use uh, the max depth of 6 men child weight binary logistic num round 100 although feel free to increase that. It doesn't matter anyways because we're only going to use the train set that we're going to hyper tune the parameters with both and get a great accuracy score. Okay, so import these. We're going to use the logarithmic method. Alpha and Lambda use these parameters. The objective metric name is validation AUC. Okay. Okay, the tuner log is going to fit. And then we're going to do three jobs. Unless you can do more on your account, then feel free to do even more. Strategy random fit the train and validation. Attach the model. Now you'll see how accurate it was. 94%. Imagine if more training jobs. Data capture configuration. Don't forget about that. Deploy the XGBoost model and predict the second data frame, which is just completely test data. The test data. Okay. And then now we're going to do the train data that was split earlier. And we're going to score our model. Okay. Remember, uh, it's one because the label encoder ended up changing the header. So I took the header that was label encoded for that data frame and then came up with this. 88% overall classification rate. Well, this right here. Okay, the default model monitor. Now, I'll show you guys something in a second. You can do this on the notebook, or you can do it on your SageMaker resources, or your endpoint. Okay. Yeah, SageMaker came out with some new things i got to show you. Okay, and then there was one violation. There was an extra column. Okay, now let's go to model monitoring. Now, guys, remember, you can do this manually also. But I have too many instances running. And then you can see your logs right there. You can test in friends. Meaning sending a post request if he wants, or you can invoke an, a single endpoint on the notebook. It's up to you. And then there's your model information. Now, of course, you'll need more instances uh, on your account allowed to do all these above. Anyways, guys, that's it.
stay tuned. Uh, I haven't decided what we're going to do for the next video. I just felt I should show you some new things SageMaker came out with. Thank you. Oh, be sure to hit like and subscribe.